are in Jungfrau, also known as Top of Europe, and we are making this video so you can decide if this is truly worth a visit for you and if it's worth your money. In this video, we will talk about the transportation and how to get to Jungfrau, the activities that are included and all the many other things you can do up there. We will talk about the food, we will talk about altitude sickness, we will talk about the ticketing and drone usage. So if you've not already subscribed to our channel, then please do subscribe because every subscriber makes a massive difference to us. So starting off with the location, Jungfrau is actually closest to Grindelwald, Lauterbrunnen and Interlaken, some of the places that you might want to stay if you're planning a day trip here. Now it is one of the tallest mountains in Europe and hence why it has the name Top of Europe with an elevation of nearly 3,400 meters. Now we got the um, train from Interlaken to Terminal and that's the stop you need to get off so it is a stop before Grindelwald and you should have announcements there but just in case you don't just remember to get off at Terminal and this is what you'll see once you get off the Terminal station there'll be lots of signage and you can clearly see where the gondolas are that take you up or the cable cars that take you up to the top of Europe and these gondolas or cable cars are absolutely massive we went first thing in the morning and that is what we would also recommend for you to do and um, we just didn't want to be there with lots of crowds and we also thought that it would be best weather wise going super early in the morning especially as we went in the summer season so we went in end of august beginning of september um and as you can see even though we went first thing in the morning it was still super busy um but later on in the evening in the afternoon it gets even more busier so if you want to go in the best time we would recommend first thing in the morning if you can so you get the escalators you get the gondola and once you get off you then you get more escalators and here is where you need to scan your tickets again and then you need to get a um so we had to get a lift then that takes you down and this is also um where you will get the train which will take you to the second part so to actually top of europe so um you can get the train all the way from down to the top um but that will save you money um they are more um budget a budget um kind of tickets uh, but we got the gondola and then the train it costs a little bit more but it might be something you want to do the trains were really really nice super comfy it wasn't a massive train it's a it's a decent sized train but it's not long not not like the ones that you will see all around switzerland but the views were really nice um now bearing in mind there aren't many views really for most of the journey it's just the first few minutes of the journey you'll get some views and then you're just going through the tunnel so do not expect to have any views but there was a tv that was showing lots of nice things to do when you get up there and the first stop is when you get off to read a little bit about the history of the glacier and you get to see the glacier up close so here you can see everyone got off the train but you don't have to get off the train the train does stop for you for approximately about five minutes and then you get an opportunity to just go and see the glacier up close um and um so after you do see the glacier up close you get back up and then you make your way actually to the top of europe so here it is you'll see the gift shop the first thing you um see when you get off you'll see the restaurants but they were closed because we went super early in the morning um, um, and the first thing we did is we just walked through this tunnel bit um, which you can see here and I and immediately I started to feel um, a little bit dizzy um, and my head started to hurt possibly due to the altitude uh, but my husband did not feel any of it so he was having a great time we then went to see this kind of um, a movie or trailer um, and um, that was interesting we read some facts um, and it was it's really interesting to see the some of the stuff they do up here so they do have um, a research center um, so that was really interesting so I'm all into science so I really enjoyed reading that um, now this is the bit we're going to come back to later on but what we decided to do is we decided to go out just in case if the weather was to get worse and the weather can change here very very quickly we just wanted to go out and make use of all the activities and the fun in the snow um so yes yeah, so that's exactly what we did we decided to have some fun in the snow we had some um snow fights um and we just really took it all in i mean where else are you going to get snow end of august beginning of september 
summer summertime nowhere else really i can't think of many places that you will find snow 365 days a year but yes you can find snow here so then we did some extra activities you do have to pay extra for this and we just had lots of fun um going on a snow slide um and doing many other fun things as you'll see just here now So apart from all them activities, other things you can do is actually get a helicopter ride uh, to here. But it is, of course, going to be pricey. But yes, that is one of the things you can do. And I was just thinking what an amazing experience that would be, but very, very costly. Um, but yes, it looked absolutely magnificent. And I can't imagine what the views might be like from in the helicopter. And then we did a little bit of a photo shoot. So whenever we've gone to top off mountains in Switzerland, we always try to get some nice dramatic pictures and that's exactly what we did um, afterwards um, so I just quickly got changed there are toilets there and took some photos um, of course um, that might be something you want to do as well um, but yes it was cold but it was actually not too bad because the sun was out after we had all the fun outside we decided to then get the lift to Sphinx and you could just see there how busy it was um, it was super super busy even though it was super early in the morning and this is where you can get a clear view of the glacier and the glacier looks so stunning it is so beautiful um i just could not believe what i was seeing it was a clear day um so absolutely worth getting up super early in the morning we also saw some birds and it was just really nice overall apart from the crowd so here you can see how busy it was it was super super busy we had to even kind of wait to take pictures everyone had to queue up in a bit it um, and it was still worth it um, but as I said my altitude signals was, was quite bad so my husband actually had to hold my bag even to just give me a little bit of a break because I had to keep going back in to sit down and take a bit of break um, as well so unfortunately I don't think I was able to enjoy it as much as I could have due to um, the altitude um, but if you're not sensitive to it like my husband wasn't then I'm sure you'll be fine um, and then after the Sphinx we decided to go back inside and go to the alpine sensation bit which is briefly what we showed you earlier on and here you'll just find a massive globe um, you can see people are looking at it there um, and you'll just see some tiny kind of houses you'll basically just see a village here you can see the gondolas it was just so cute I absolutely love stuff like this um, it was a very pretty place and we just loved um, reading and reading some of the history around there um, and just really having fun and um, this is also where you'll find another escalator and as you go up the escalator along the side um, you will see um, the history of Jungfrau the first people that kind of came there you will also read about the history about the railway line uh, because that in itself is magnificent how they've managed to do that the tunnel how they've built that and you will just find some light shows there as you can see um and um a memorial kind of place as well for the workers um so it was it was just very very nice to actually get to know a bit more about the place you're at and the significance it holds um so yes highly recommend 
recommend actually having a look around here, taking your time, uh, maybe reading some of the plagues as well, um, of course, if that's something that you want to do. Um, so after doing that, what we decided to do is we decided to finally make our way to the Ice Palace. Now, did you know this is the highest Ice Palace, um, if I'm not wrong, in Europe? And um, this is also where they have the highest post office, where you can actually post letters. Um, and it will come with the stamp of Top of Europe. Um, so just some interesting point there. Now, the Ice Palace was actually freezing cold. And of course, it will be cold because you are walking on ice and you are under ice i still can't believe how do these places not melt like how is this ice not melting um especially in summer or when it gets super super sunny Ice Palace we made our way to the Lind chocolate shop that was our last stop here and this is where you can buy some chocolate sometimes they even give out a free chocolate when you enter and then we made our way to the Indian buffet um, which is halal if anyone's interested to know and they didn't have much of a choice here but it was sufficient and it cost about 30 35 pound per person for adults and we were just so hungry so we made use of that and just a, just another insider of lots of famous people have visited this buffet place last thing we got our train back um the exact same process so train and then gondola back now i would have loved to spend more time there but because of my altitude sickness i just could not be up there longer but my husband didn't feel a thing so i guess it just depends person by person we got some free chocolates on the way back which was really really nice and i really enjoyed having my chocolate as well as watching a video about grindelwald which is a village down um and we have made a youtube video about grindelwald so you can watch that if you're interested in knowing about the things to do in Grindelwald. So we got the gondola back after the train, as I said before. Talking about the altitude sickness, truly it depends on person by person. But one thing you can do is get some tablets. There are lots of tips online. So just make sure you have a look if you're someone like me and sensitive. Talking about the tickets and best time to go. Best time to go is definitely in the morning. Best way to save money is also going in the morning and looking at the super saver tickets or buying a Swiss travel pass. Drone is allowed but it can get super windy so do be careful and i really really hope you've enjoyed watching this video for us we really enjoyed traveling and visiting jungfrau and we hope this video has helped you as well and make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so and do also leave a comment down below if you've got any questions or queries about this place